we have a pusher star. We had some trouble with the first couple flights. Now we have uh, changed to a 7.4 pusher prop. 7 inch, 7 by 4. I checked on the internet, it looks like it's, that one would probably be the best one with the most, uh, most thrust without overheating it. We've got a big uh, 171 gram 2200 3S in here now because it seemed tail heavy before. And, uh, oh, I took out the thrust angle on this as well. It was way angled to the, to the right, so I think that was making it funny too. So we've got almost straight. It's got just a little bit of up, but um, almost straight now. So if it doesn't fly now, then it's not any good. So. Got a little wind, so it's good. For the to get out of the way. <laughs> Over here. Ready? Better than before, but it seems a little pistol heavy, doesn't it? But at least it's flying this time, it's flying stably. But I think it's still tail heavy. I don't understand that. It's got a big oh, it's definitely not trimmed here. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing like 80, 90 percent throttle this whole time. It doesn't, it doesn't have the thrust that it needs. I'm, I don't know. I'm at 80 or 90 percent here. Hmm. Not flying. I think I finally got it trimmed. It needed a lot of trim. It's, it's kind of sliding through. It's weird. doesn't fly well. When you turn to kind of slide through the air instead of cutting through the air, can you see how it's sliding? I'm not using rudder at all, but it's still sliding. With seven foot prop on it, like 80-90% throttle. Okay, this is full throttle. Just like sliding through the air. Do I dare try any stunts with it? I don't know. Just do it. Do it. It's having a hard time just barely flying around like a thing.
But at least it flies now. Like before with that stress angle stuff, it wouldn't fly mm. at all. Right. Doing all kinds mm. of funky stuff. Mm. The motor sound is very interesting. I wonder if I need even a bigger prop. I don't know what this thing needs. I don't know what to do now. It just doesn't fly very well. I'm going to go right now. Oh, right. I'm going to go right. Oh. Take it up a little. It feels like sliding through the air. Hmm. It's weird. Maybe the it needs more tail? Maybe it needs more vertical stabilizer? Because in the... Yeah, the cloud flies just way better. Remember, I didn't have any trouble with the cloud fly when I first played that one <laughs> a couple of years ago. Cloud fly when I first did. And the cloud strike had more than enough power as well. But uh, this sound You like the sound? Um, <laughs> the cloud fly sounds even better, what do you mean? It sounds a little quiet. This is a try to see if you can do a loop? Uh, I need to get that. Whoa. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> see how unstable it is when it comes back down and wobbles around? Ah. It doesn't want to do anything. It's just too heavy. It's with this battery. It's like 720 grams, which is almost 100 grams more than Cloudfly. So mm. I forgot to mention that the wing is a little shorter than Cloudfly, but it does have a little wider cord mm. than Cloudfly does. So, but it's just, I don't know, it's just a strange design. It's just not flying very well. The cloud fly, I could take it down to like 40% throttle, yeah. 8 minutes, I believe. 8 minutes? Oh, mm. uh, okay, I, think, I guess just for people watching, we should probably bring it down. Huh? Mm. Wow. Let's see. Oh, I haven't even tried to see how it glides yet. Do it this Hmm. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's still tail heavy or something. It was not <laughs> gliding at all. Okay, turn it off. <laughs>